Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to round two of Mad Madness. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an NFC matchup today in Gillette in Foxborough, Massachusetts, home of the Patriots. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the 49ers, it's the Seahawks, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. Looks like Seahawks will get the ball to start. That means San Francisco will get the ball to start the second half. And the kick's away. Lock it, we'll take a knee in the end zone for a free 25. And here comes Russell Wilson. He's thrown one touchdown so far in Madden Madness. No turnovers though, so pretty good. His offense has been four for eight on third down. Thus far in Madden Madness. Pretty solid if they can repeat that. They could be sitting pretty good and here comes the first play of the game Wilson pitches to Davis and Davis has a hole up the gut and Davis gets about 15 so Seattle's got a running game to start off good for 15 and it moves the chains and he was pretty much untouched. Good spin move there, though. Excellent blocking was really what sprung him. That spin move definitely helps, though. Took a big hit at the end of the run, though. So Seahawks are on their own 40. They break huddle. Ten seconds left on the play clock. Wilson comes out in the eye. Takes the handoff. Wilson throws on the run, and he's got Baldwin. It's a gain of 13 and moves the sticks once again. So Doug Baldwin. Wilson to Baldwin. That's a pretty common uh, saying. One of the leading quarterback to wide receiver duos. If he could stand if he could have just stayed on his feet, he would have gotten much more much farther down the field. But as it stands, Seattle get, does get the first and they're in San Francisco territory. Pitch to Davis once again and he's got a hole. Davis. Davis. Gain of 18. Well, it brings the ball out to the 18. And so on this first drive, Seattle is screaming down the field. And the pitch play has worked two times now. Seattle's also avoided the dreaded third down. So the 49ers have to figure out a way to stop this running attack. And yes, if they can stop the running attack, then Wilson's play action fake won't be as effective and the offense becomes that much more hard to run. So Wilson to McKissick, who's got a hole and maybe three yards on the pickup. And the Seahawks won last week, 24-7. to wasn't last week, it was previous round. They won 24-7, to they gave up a touchdown on the first play of the game, but then they scored 24 points unanswered. If the Seahawks can have a repeat performance, they should win this game.
will send to McKissick, who has about five yards. And that'll set up the first third down of the game. And here's the 49ers. They beat the Cardinals 17-10 in the last round to get here. The score was 17-0, however, but the 49ers let the Cardinals back in. Against the Seahawks, who only get better as the game goes on, the 49ers will have to keep their foot on the gas for all four quarters. If they can do that, they should win this game. So Wilson in the shotgun, third and two. Wilson to Davis, and Davis, I think they're gonna give him the first. They're not, wow, it's gonna be fourth and inches. So Seattle will have to settle for a field goal attempt. I'm surprised, I thought he rolled over 49er. Maybe his elbow got down earlier? I don't know. If I were P. Carroll, I would challenge. It's early, but we're talking about the difference between 7 and 3, more than likely. Blair Walsh nails it. Seahawks score 3 on the opening drive. And the Seahawks kick it away. Caught by Bolden. He runs it past the 20 and falls down just on the good side of the 25 out to the, the 26. And that's where Garoppolo will come out now. And Garoppolo so far has been pretty good. Throwing two touchdowns, no picks in their 17 to 10 win against the Cardinals. They were four for seven on third down, so pretty solid offensive showing. Let's see if they can repeat against the Seahawks. Garoppolo fakes the handoff to start. Rolls to his left, steps upfield, and they're going to say he got 10. Was it enough for the first? It was. So number 10 gets 10 and moves the chains for another first and 10. And Garoppolo was acquired by the 49ers early in the season from the Patriots. And Garoppolo was supposed to be the successor to Tom Brady. And we understand now why Bill Belichick was so upset about having to let him go under the direction of Robert, uh, Robert Kraft. Carlos Hyde. And Hyde, ooh, gets nine. But he pays a price for it. Boom. Ouch. After that hit, I feel like I have to tell you guys, there is no injuries in Madden Madness, so even though he took that hit, he's always going to get back up. So second and one now, let's see what Mike Shanahan elects to do here. Kyle Shanahan. Excuse me. And it's Kittle. So they take an 18 yard shot and it pays off. It's complete. Garoppolo's first completion of the game. Tackled by Earl Thomas.
and this game has been my most anticipated of the second round so this is the last game of round two hope you guys enjoyed it and I know I have saving the best for last as Hyde now takes the ball and he stopped after a gain of about nothing so tackled by Bobby Wagner second and ten now for the 49ers and that might take us to the end of the first and it will so Kyle Shanahan looks on as we see the 49ers try and match Seattle or take the lead in the second they're down three Alright, we're back and ready for the next play. Start of the second. Niners down three points. This is their first drive of the game. And their first second and ten. And they're hoping it's their last. So Garoppolo comes out now. Running formation for the offense. Garoppolo fakes the handoff, and he's brought down. Swung down by Sheldon Richardson. And that's going to bring up third and 16. So that handoff fakes nobody. And Garoppolo pays for it. So four wide from Garoppolo as he hands it off to Breda. And Breda goes nowhere. He loses three, actually. And I'm not sure what they were thinking with that play call, but it's fourth and 19 now. And the Niners will punt. And that's not what the Niners want to see from their offense. Opinion boots it away out of bounds and it's a pretty rough kick it gives the Seahawks seven more yards than they would have gotten if he had just simply booted it into the end zone as Seattle comes out now and they have a running game all of a sudden that's something they've been struggling with ever since Marshawn Lynch beast mode left so three wide Wilson under center showing run hands it off to Davis and Davis has a hole before taking the lick but you get what you pay for he, he definitely earned those yards So that run's going to move the chains and set the ball up at the 42. So Seattle in the eye. Wilson will throw. Wilson throws to his left, throws on the run, and he's got Baldwin who shakes a tackle, but not before getting smacked by somebody else. First down, Seattle. Baldwin's 2 for 29 so far. So 
So first and ten now for the Seahawks. Four wide, likely to throw. He will. It's Wilson. Nearly intercepted. Just didn't see the Niner in the area, and that could have cost him. He's trying to hit Jimmy Graham. Second and ten now for the Hawks. 49ers uh, offense struggled and ultimately had to punt after their second and ten. So let's see if Seattle can beat that. Wilson's going to throw and incomplete. Try to hit Graham again. But this time Graham dropped it. Third and ten coming up for the Hawks. And the Hawks haven't converted yet. 0 for 1. Bunch set of receivers to Wilson's left. He's in the shotgun. Wilson throws. And he's got Tyler Lockett. And that's enough for the first. Seahawks first third down conversion of the game. And it couldn't come at a better time. That sets him up in good field goal range. And so far, Wilson's really tried to get it over the middle. I wonder if the Niners will send an extra man to the middle or maybe some extra pressure to try and cause Wilson some more issues because he's pretty much untouched so far in this one. Wilson under center, and they will send blitz. Wilson to Davis. And Davis stepped out of bounds after a gain of seven. Second and three coming up. And Kyle Shanahan looks on now. San Francisco will likely get the ball back, so if they can hold them to a field goal, they could still take the lead before the start of the third. Wilson rolls, steps up, tries to juke, but he can't do it. Doesn't matter. He's got the first. Gain of seven. That brings him in goal to go territory. And when your line's doing such a great job and nobody's looking at the quarterback, he can just pop up field and sneak a first out of him. That's what happened there. So, first and goal from the 10. The hardest goal to go possible. As Seahawks break huddle, they have to run this play before the two minute warning. Davis, alone, tries to spin, but kind of a bad decision on his part. He might have been able to dive for it. So that brings up second and goal, as well as the two-minute warning. Seattle, goal to go, up three. And we're back on the short side of the two-minute warning, as Seattle has three yards to go now to make it a ten-point game. Wilson in the shotgun, four wide. And there's a flag down. We'll see who this is against. Ouch. So Wilson got him off sides with his cadence. And so now they'll be on the two. And every yard matters this deep in the red zone. So, so uh, they got this far with the running play. Let's see what they decide to do.
Niners expecting run. Wilson does run it with Davis, and Davis gets tackled for a loss. It's a minus two play. Reuben Foster. And that's a lick. That'll hurt in the morning. Shoulder checks him. So now third and goal from the four. And now things are starting to look good for San Francisco. Wilson under center rushing through the line. Wilson will throw. Time. <laughs> Pocket collapsing. He sprints up and just gets decked at the one. So, fourth and goal. Seattle will probably have to settle for another field goal attempt. So, San Francisco will have a chance to take the lead. Unless Seattle tries to go for it here. They'll settle for three. It's Blair Walsh. And Walsh nails it. So Seattle's up 6-0. And San Francisco's going to have a chance now to get on the board and maybe take the lead here before halftime. And Garoppolo warming up on the sideline. As Seattle gets ready to kick it away. Minute 22 left before halftime. Kicks away. Caught on the A by Kendrick Bourne of Eastern Washington takes the knee and the ball comes out to the 25 and so does Garoppolo Garoppolo comes out now and the Niners are ha are held without a score in this game but they have been able to move the ball a little bit so they just need to get better in the red zone area or and slash or deep in Seattle territory. Three wide for Garoppolo. Garoppolo. Incomplete. Intercepted. Bounced off his hands. It's Bobby Wagner. And that's unfortunate for the Niners. That's all on the receiver. Gets batted up in the air, and Bobby Wagner's in the area and makes a inhuman play on the ball. J.D. McKissick now comes on. Two rushes for seven yards. Maybe they'll try and get him going a little bit more. As Seattle now has a chance to make this a two-possession game at minimum. Three wide receivers for Wilson, who's in the shotgun. And I think they're going to get a free five. They will. It's Solomon Thomas. So after the quick interception, the Niners are trying to get the ball back, and it ultimately costs them. Wilson exploits that. So now first and five. And Seattle could take a shot here if they won. It's basically, if it falls incomplete, it's basically 
like they got five yards. It'll be second and five instead of a second and ten. So we'll see what they do here. Three wide. Wilson comes out in the eye. Wilson steps up. He's got some space, and he slides down at the 10. It's a gain of 13 on the scramble. And that's another thing Wilson can do. He can kill you with his arm or his legs. And Seattle will take a timeout with 61 ticks left before halftime. Seattle's got the ball up six points. So first and ten now from the ten. So effectively you've got to call this a first and ten. Well, it can't be a first and ten. It's got to be a first and goal. There's got to be maybe, there's less than one yard that you can, yeah, you see that line. You should just be going for the end zone here. Wilson throws, and he's got Baldwin. Touchdown, Seahawks. And that's Baldwin's first catch of Mad Madness. So that's going to make it 13 to 0 with 1 minute left in the first half. Shanahan's got to be very frustrated right now. This is not at all what he was expecting. And I got to admit I'm a little bit disappointed too. One play, 10 yards, 3 seconds. I guess the silver lining in that was the drive didn't take very long by the Seahawks. Well, that's that's incorrect because Seattle definitely ran at least two plays because there was the scramble by Wilson and then the throw to Baldwin. So at least two plays. So that's that's wrong. As Bolden steps back, ready to field the kick, and he's got to take it the distance now to keep things interesting here before halftime. And Kendrick Bourne. Takes a knee on the A. So ball comes out to the 25. And here comes Garoppolo. So one play interception on the last drive. And that was really no fault of Garoppolo. He could have thrown it a little bit softer maybe. But the receiver should have caught that or at least not smacked it into the air like a volleyball. Or you could also say that it was neither one's fault. But I, <laughs> I find that hard to swallow. Garoppolo throws deep over the head of his receiver. Incomplete. Second and ten coming up for the 49ers. wide for Garoppolo who's in the shotgun Jimmy G throws toward the sideline over his receiver's head again so maybe after the interception he's feeling a little bit uh, shifty a little bit uncomfortable and the Niners have not converted yet on third third and ten coming up they're 0 for 1 so they can still rewrite the script Garoppolo under center. Hands to Breda, who's blown up. 
two problems with that. Number one, why would you run it on a third and ten? Because Seattle can take a timeout. And number two, why wouldn't you throw it? <laughs> I don't understand that play call at all. Forty-eight seconds left now, as San Francisco is forced to boot this thing away, and Seattle can make this a 16-point game or a 20-point game before halftime. If it's a 20-point game, it's looking really bad for San Francisco, but 16 points is manageable. Ideally, San Francisco can get a pick six here, or a fumble recovery, or some kind of turnover. Pinion kicks it away. The ball will be caught in bounds at the 21 by Lockett. He dodges two defenders, three defenders, four before he's ultimately brought down. It's a 13 yard return, so all that work gains him 13 for a team that's up 13 points as Mike Davis comes on the field. And he's been pretty productive so far, but that's mostly a product of the offensive line, which uncharacteristically is having a pretty good day so far. Three wide for Wilson, who's alone in the shotgun, except for the running back to his left. Wilson steps up, tries to dump it off to his left, but the ball's caught out of bounds. That brings up second and ten. And it's going to be reviewed. I think it's going to stand, though. We'll take a look here and see, just to make sure. He's clearly out of bounds. I don't know why they needed to look at that again. It's reversed? I mean, it's a gain of nothing, but still, he is clearly out of bounds. I don't know what these guys are doing. Luckily, that was an inconsequential call, otherwise, that. I. Wow. And Wilson almost throws a pick six there. Number 23, his second pass deflection, and his best chance to get the Niners back in this game. He dropped it. But that's why they are they play defense. Can't catch the ball. If they could catch the ball, they'd be on offense. And here comes another third down attempt for Seattle. They're one for three so far, trying to make it two for four. Wilson in the shotgun. Wilson fakes the handoff. Rolls, throws deep. He's got Baldwin wide open over the middle. And he's tackled down at the 30. So Seattle, with one timeout left, might just take this clock down and take the three points and get out of here. And that's just a weak zone. You can't keep running zone like that against Wilson. He'll pick you apart. You got to have close man-to-man -man defense, at least on Baldwin, who has had a pretty good game so far. As Seattle takes a timeout, 10 seconds left. So Wilson with 30 seconds left on the play clock is still out there. We'll see if Blair Walsh comes out instead or if they're actually going to try a play. They won't. It's Blair Walsh kicking from 
the 37 yard line. Kicks away. And it's no good. Walsh missed it. So it's still a two possession game. I guess it would technically still be, but that's a killer miss. And that might hurt Seattle's momentum going into halftime or going into the second half. So six, sec six seconds left, and we'll see if San Francisco will try something here with two timeouts and six seconds left on the clock. They could maybe run a quick out route or something and maybe somehow get into field goal range that way in five seconds. It seems they'll run the Hail Mary, though, instead. Garoppolo rolls and throws. And it falls down incomplete. Didn't even get there anyway. So or Seattle will go into the half up 13, and Niners will go into the half down 13 as we reach halftime. But there are no half times in Mad Madness. So we'll get right to the start of the second half, where San Francisco will get the ball. So they can make this a one possession game here if they figured something out at halftime. And for their sake, I hope they do. Kicks away. Caught by Bolden, who elects to run it out past the 25, and he's brought down at the 28. So he's averaging 29 yards per return on the day. And San Francisco will come out now, and they got to be feeling pretty good. They're, they could be down 16, but since Walsh missed the kick, they're only down 13. And if they can get an opportunity to get a touchdown here. Niners might be able to ride some momentum into the lead. But it all starts here on the first play. This is a tone setter. San Francisco's only been held to 26 yards of offense so far. Garoppolo to Hyde. And Hyde's got a pretty good run to start off. Takes the ball out to the 37. It's a nine yard pickup they'll call it. Second and a long one coming up. And second and one, a lot of teams like to take a shot here. We'll see if they do just that. So Garoppolo in the shotgun, but he's got three Niners around him. Garoppolo fakes the handoff. He's going to throw here. Rolls to his right, steps up, and he's scrambling. And he takes a hit, but runs out of bounds. And now the Niners are at the 50-yard line, right at midfield. And that might be just what this offense needs to get going. Get a first down, try and string some first downs together. Get a drive moving. Garoppolo under center. He's going to throw. Quick throw. Falls incomplete. Second and ten coming up. And that's one thing that the Niners have been struggling with in this game is moving the ball through the air. Only one completion. He has as many completions as interceptions. Here, just under six minutes left in the third. Garoppolo under center. Garoppolo. Steps up. And he's going to take it with his legs once again. And he's going to take the hit. After a 13-yard pickup. And now the Niners are in field goal range. But down 13, they definitely are looking for the touchdown. And good job by Garoppolo guarding that ball. 
The defense always loves to try and force the ball out of the quarterback's hands. Four wide for Garoppolo. It's Garoppolo. And it's Kittle who drops it. Ball's incomplete and second and ten again. So San Francisco has been a second and, second and ten machine. They have to figure out a way to overcome that if they want to win this game. So Garoppolo under center. Garoppolo steps up. Floats it and it's nearly intercepted. That would have been his second of the game. Instead it falls incomplete. Here comes a third and ten. And the 49ers have not been able to convert yet on third down. They've only had two opportunities. But man. They, they're lucky just to make it to third down after that throw. So from the 37, here come the 49ers. Marquise Goodwin, who only has, who got two touchdowns last in that last matchup. Murphy had it in his hands and he dropped it. So we'll see if San Francisco elects to go for the three here. They should. But it's not ideal for them. They wish they could could have gotten that touchdown. And this is a far field goal as well. Walsh missed one from here, this far and let's see if the Niners can win where he failed. And they have an even worse kick. Not even close, incomplete. Missed kick. Number nine. That was just a mess. And this is sort of a, seat, a vintage 49ers Seahawks game. Kind of low scoring, but Niners down big. Wilson on first down misdirection to Davis who gets about four yards on the pickup setting up a second and six Wilson throws it away so that'll set up a third and six now and the Niners should be pretty excited for this down and music to 49ers fans ears Seahawks have only converted one for four so far this is their fifth attempt four wide for Wilson in the shotgun Wilson throws. He's got Baldwin again. And Baldwin coming in clutch on those third downs. Sticks move, and Seattle's going to be able to kill some more clock. And they're on the doorstep of field goal range. Baldwin's got five for 80 yards. It's not bad. Definitely a decent day for a fantasy. Bunch set of receivers to Wilson's right, who's under center. Showing run. But he will throw. It's Wilson. To Wilson. And it's good for a three yard gain. That's Luke Wilson's first catch of the game. And now Seattle's on the edge of field goal range. 
Wilson to Wilson for a gain of three from number three. And if Seattle can somehow get in the end zone, I think that might be a death blow to the Niners. Wilson to Davis, and there's a flag down. But he does get close to the first down. Let's see if the play stands. And it's Jimmy Graham with the hold. So third and one becomes second and 17. And it pushes him out of field goal range. Without a doubt. So from midfield, the Seahawks are going to be lucky to get this first. And the Niners got to be licking their chops. Seahawks from their own 49. Wilson, pump fakes, throws, and it's intercepted. It's Coyle. And just when the Niners needed it, Wilson makes a crucial mistake and forces the ball into Brock Coyle's hands, and it's picked off. And that's the Seahawks' first turnover of Madden Madness. So it's starting to look gloom for the 49ers who all of a sudden made something happen. And let's see if they can capitalize. Bunch set of receivers to Garoppolo's left as he's under center. Garoppolo fakes the handoff and rolls to his right, but he's blown up for a huge sack. It's Michael Bennett. Loss of 10 on the play. And Garoppolo and company is in bad shape now. And they're in second and long again. They just can't get out of second and long. They just can't stay on schedule. So from 2nd and 20, out comes Garoppolo under center, showing run, and fakes the handoff, and he's brought down again, it's Reed. So 1st and 10 becomes 3rd and 29, and the Niners who have not converted a 3rd down all game long, now face a 3rd and 29. So if ever you wanted to place a bet, you got to bet that Seahawks going to see the ball after this next throw. So inside their own red zone, Garoppolo is going to try and make some magic happen. Four wide. Garoppolo to Breda on the draw and that fails two times in a row and I think the Niners were just trying to avoid the interception on that play. And everything's coming up Seahawks so far in this one as we get towards the end of the third quarter. Clock is running. We'll see if they get this kickoff before the end of the quarter. They will, it's Pinion. Boots it down to the 25 where Lockett picks it up. Makes a couple defenders miss. And Lockett takes it all the way up near midfield. So Carroll's got to be pretty happy. As we get to the end of the third now, Seahawks in command of this one. Up 13 to zip with the ball.
All right, so we're back. And this looked to be a good game, but Seahawks been dominating it for the first three quarters. Start of the fourth now. Wilson breaks huddle, trying to finish out this one. Comes out in the eye. Wilson to Davis, who gets smacked after delivering a hit of his own and loses one on the play. Second and 11 coming up. So the Seahawks fall back now onto their side of the field for the second time in two drives. Wilson takes the handoff. And he's got Baldwin over the middle again. Doug Baldwin. He's in. Touchdown Seahawks. So Baldwin's got two touchdowns after having none in their previous game. And they just got to figure, they just, they had to figure out a way to stop Baldwin and they just have not been able to. They need to go to a man coverage on Baldwin. And that might be the death blow. Seahawks are going to be up now three touchdowns. They're going to go for two here, try and make it a 21-point game. Wilson fakes the handoff. Rolls to his right and cuts up field for a failed attempt to sprint into the end zone as he elects instead to save his body and slide down. And that bit might be a play when you want to deliver the shoulder and kind of just dive in the end zone. But Seattle's pretty content now, nonetheless, with a 19-point lead. So Wilson's been very good in Madden Madness so far. Three touchdowns, one pick. Three to one interception ratio. I would take that any day of the week. As the kick's away. Caught by Bolden, who takes a kneel on the Patriots logo and walks it out to the 25. Where Garoppolo is going to try and make a miracle happen. Just about six minutes left in the fourth, down three touchdowns. Garoppolo needs a perfect game from here on out if the Niners want to have any shot at a victory. And it's win or go home, so unless San Francisco can figure something out, they'll be the ones going home, and Seattle will be the ones moving on to the next round. Garoppolo throws, and it's nearly picked. Sailed over the head of his receiver and lands in the body of the Seattle defender who just can't complete the interception. And that's embarrassing. I know you're not a receiver, but if the ball's literally rolling around on your chest, you should be able to locate it and just hold on to it, especially if you're playing in the NFL. But Garoppolo's going to get another shot here, and he takes it, steps up, and he does the only thing that he's been able to do with any consistency, scramble up the field. Four rushes for 52 yards.
So first and ten now, four wide for Garoppolo. Off the scramble. Garoppolo rolls to his left, changes direction, and tries to dump it off to Hyde. And is successful. It's a two-yard pickup and his second reception of the game. Second completion, I should say. And Shanahan has to be a little bit disappointed in his quarterback of the future. 2 for 11 and one pick. I'd hate to see his QBR right now. It's got to be pretty close to zero. Four wide, Garoppolo. Steps up, throws on the run, and he's got Kittle, who makes the catch. And now Garoppolo's 3 for 12. And Niners definitely need a touchdown here, and they need it quick. Preferably before the clock ticks below four minutes. Four wide for Jimmy G. Garoppolo. Rolls to his right, and he's a little bit gassed. I can see it in his legs, and he fumbles. Luckily, he recovers his own fumble. And it, instead of a turnover, it's a second and four. And you can see it in his running. He was gassed, and you can see it at the line, too. He was panting. So under four minutes now, second and four, the Niners have to take a shot here pretty soon as this ball will be snapped on the short side of three minutes and 30 seconds. Garoppolo steps up, throws toward the sideline, incomplete. Missed his man on the run, and that stops the clock. And here comes a third down, which the 49ers have not converted yet. They're 0 for 4, trying to make it 1 for 5. You're playing the odds game, you got to think that they'll get this conversion as they hand it to Breda, and Breda doesn't even get close. Fourth and three, and every single third down, they've run a draw play with Breda, and it has not worked. Shanahan's really showing his stubbornness. You gotta, you gotta switch it up, man. Fourth and three, coming up. Game on the line. Probably already lost. Def more than likely already lost. The Niners will try and go for it. And literally everyone on the line has a false start. So fourth and three becomes fourth and eight, and the Niners be continue to spiral out of control. What could be the last offensive play for the Niners in this one? Garoppolo throws, and it falls down incomplete. And that's a turnover on down. Seattle gets the ball up 19. And I think that's pretty much going to do it. And Shaquille Griffin knocks that ball loose. So after beating the, card, beating the Cardinals, the 49ers are going to fall short. And it's because of that man right there, Doug Baldwin. Two touchdowns, 131 yards off six receptions. That's a fat paycheck in fantasy for sure. 
So we'll take a look at the brackets now that we have reached near the end of the third round. Take them off real quick, but the upper right-hand corner, you see that the Seahawks are going to take on the Dallas Cowboys in round three. As the 49ers continue to just make things look uglier and uglier, it's getting ugly here. First and five now. We'll see if Seattle tries to take the shot. Although at this point, it might be just nicer to run it. Let's take a look one more time. Upper right-hand corner, Dallas Cowboys taking on the Seahawks in the next round. Wilson to Davis up the gut and he stopped so second and five now for the offense and that's what I was saying earlier first and five uh, incompletion or a run for no gain basically me plays like he just got a five yard gain because it sets up a second and five either way and we've reached the two minute warning Seahawks up 19 so Seahawks up 19 trying to just end this game if the 49ers have any honor they will not try and use their timeouts and just try and get out of here. Niners showing blitz. Redskins showing, I mean, uh, Seahawks showing run. And they will run with Davis Wright. Who will get a gain of about three, setting up a third and two. And this will be the Seahawks' sixth attempt on third down. One for five so far. And San Francisco is just going to let the clock run down as Wilson comes out under center. Takes the handoff, and they're going to throw deep down the field, and he hits Richardson, who gets the first. And that should be the last play of the game. Well, that's... He falls out of bounds and that stops the clock, so there will have to be one, maybe two more snaps. And the Seahawks are also in field goal range as well. Wilson to Davis right. And Davis is tackled for a loss of one. San Francisco is not going to take the timeouts, though, as they're already down big. And this is just a march toward the inevitable. So the Seahawks will have to run one more play. This will be the last play of the game, unless something weird happens. Wilson under center. Wilson to Davis, and he's tackled down, and that's going to do it. Seattle moves on to the third round. They're the last team to move on to the third round. This will be the end of the second round. So... The next video you'll see from me is going to be highlights from the second round. And the week after that, you'll see the start of round three. So for now, Seahawks are moving on, moving, winning 19-0 to over the Niners. And so they'll get to move on. So was your prediction right? Let us know in the comments.
If you want to see the Seahawks move on into their next game, be sure to subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying, have a good one.